From time to time, I like to look up on the internet what so-called intelligent people say regarding one or another topic. A lot of contemporary philosophers, to one degree or another, assert that it's not necessary to have a sense in life, and a person just needs goals. One achieved, well done. The second achieved, very good. Managed to achieve the third one, outstanding. Such an approach might work maybe when you are in your 20s, but as you grow older, it becomes less and less relevant and will highly likely lead you to clinical depression eventually. All right, let's say you strained yourself and achieved a goal. Good. Then you stated a new aim and it turns out your battery is run down. Aging makes it quite clear that our innate powers are not endless, which means you have to stop doing meaningless stuff at some point. Meaningless are considered such activities that do not align with your unique personal sense of life. The question of a life sense as a person grows older becomes more and more vital. That is why all the philosophic, religious, and mystical systems were built up in the way to converge around search of a sense in life. But first, we have to determine where a sense of life can come from in the first place. As simple as that, only something that we positioned above ourselves is able to produce this kind of stuff. Yes, we're talking here about the All Father, the Maker, the God. Naturally, I predict in advance dissenting voices babbling about imposing some religious stuff. But in fact, it has nothing to do with any religion. Practice illustrates that the overwhelming majority of so-called religious and churched people do not believe in God. They have faith in many things, rituals, symbols, myths, church attributes, but there is no God in such kind of things. Faith in God means acceptance of the fact that there is a creator of this world, author of all al algorithms, ranging from chemical reactions to historical epochs shifting. Everything happens not by chance. The world has its own agenda and you are the part of this agenda. Whether the God exists or not, we can't know for sure, as it's absolutely impossible to conceive an entity of such complicity. It is the same case when an ant can understand construction and nature of a truck that ran over his anthill. Nevertheless, we have to believe, because it's logical and to our advantage. Anything else in terms of serving civilization, humanity, is nothing more than just a euphemism a cover-up term for God's figure. There are not so many real atheists, and it's very rare that such people live a long and happy life. The heavy burden of responsibility weighs upon as life goes on and eventually completely crushes them. Because if there is no God, then it means uh, the world is totally chaotic, and in chaos only a person himself is able to be answerable for what happens to him which is a too heavy load to carry. If we accept the figure of the Creator, we build up our inner world automatically, which, as oddly as it might be, lets us to perceive the reality more systematically. Indeed, faith in God is logical for perceiving the world and to our advantage, in terms of our psyche. I've happened upon the question if we are able to create our own sense of life. Sure, we are. This is actually a problem. We can do it today. We can do it tomorrow. We can do it the day after tomorrow. And every day there is going to be a new sense of life. It's not an option. The idea of serving society is idiotic intrinsically, as only a fool would serve a structure, the sole aim of which is to make sure you won't rise above layman. To not let you change, not let you become somebody. These are the very functions of a society. All in all, this is another quest to take the idea of the Creator three times a day, after eating or before eating or whenever is convenient for you. If, however, 
you decided that you knew better what is right, kick yourself out. But be ready to cut complaints about life when the going gets tough.